Space Hog was a glam influenced band that sprung up in the mid 90s that really had one huge hit song, which was in the meantime, which came out on their debut record, 1995's Resident Alien. The band consisted of brothers Royston and Anthony Langdon on bass and guitar, Richard Steele on lead guitar, Johnny Craig on drums, along with Timo Ellis on keyboard and other instruments. Royston, for his part, was also the frontman of the group, as well as the bassist, who sang lead on almost all the band's songs. And they were an English rock band that formed in New York in 1994, and they were influenced by the glam stylings of fellow British rockers including David Bowie and T-Rex. Originally, the band wanted to call themselves Grass, but eventually landed on the name Space Hog. Co-founder and drummer Johnny Craig would tell an interviewer how Royston brought a lot of songs from his previous band in the UK to Space Hog, saying, Royston moved to New York in 1994. He was 20 years old and had a band in Leeds prior to that. He took a couple songs he had written in the band The Zeros and wrote a couple more, and they became the backbone of what was to become Resident Alien. Anthony wrote a couple, and when Richard joined the band, Roy had an emerging idea of what worked best for us compositionally. Because myself and Rich had been in a couple bands before that, we could quickly articulate those songs and make them sound like us, he would conclude. The band also wasted no time getting a record deal, as the same year they formed, they also inked a deal with Elektra Records. One of the singles released from their debut record, Resident Alien, was in the meantime, whose iconic intro would sample the Penguin Cafe Orchestra song Telephone and Rubber Band. It would be Royston Langdon's friend who introduced the singer to the Penguin Cafe Orchestra, featuring the famous loop at the beginning, and would tell song facts where the loop originally came from, revealing, every now and again when you make a telephone call in the UK, you get a cross line while you were calling someone. It's the sound of the phone ringing and then the sound of the phone being engaged at the same time. I liked it and it just stayed in my head. I knew it was one of those things he'd say. The song explores the theme of self-realization as frontman Royston Langdon would tell song facts the meaning behind the song, saying, it's me trying to reach people. It's using some kind of metaphor of a worldly or inner worldly search for the end of isolation and the acceptance of oneself is in there. At the end of the day, it's saying whatever you gotta do, it's okay. It's all right. And I think there's also me talking to myself, getting through my anxieties and fear of death. That's what it all comes down to. What's so beautiful about it is that it continues to connect with people, he'd say. In the meantime, would end up topping the rock charts in the US upon its release, and would also have crossover appeal in the top 40 charts, peaking at number 32. The song was also heavily licensed, most notably appearing in the video games Guitar Hero 5 and Rock Band 3. But shockingly, in an interview with Black Book, Royston would reveal that he no longer has the rights to the song, meaning that he may have sold his publishing to the track. Space Hog, for their part, would release several more albums until breaking up in 2002 and finally reuniting in 2008. None of the group's follow-up records to their 1995 debut album seem to have much commercial success. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on In the Meantime, and are there any other Space Hog songs you enjoy? Let me know in the comments section. If you guys want to support my channel, simply watch another video, or go check us out on Patreon, starting as low as $2 a month. Take care.